In the first season of One Hour Limit Locked, we set ourselves the challenge to get a fire cape in 45 days while only being able to play for one hour a day. I went 36 minutes overtime on the last day, but we got our cape in the end. The thing is, that was only the warm up. Now, we're really about to start cooking. 60 days are on the clock, 175 quest points are on the menu, 8 council members are in need of a charming knight in shining armour, and I'm the idiot they're getting. Welcome to season 2 of One Hour Limit Locked, it's chef in season baby. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, guys, gals, non-binary pals. Welcome back to the bottom of our first week in Season 2. We are going for the Barrow's Gloves this season, of course, and so far we have not freed a single council member. That's not changing today. We're still in the getting through the little quests phase, but I am hoping to crack another longer one out today in the form of Shiloh Village. But first, we've got Jungle Potion and the Lost Tribe to do, and a birdhouse run to set up. So I'm not quite sure how far we'll get. If we finish Shiloh Village, that's fantastic. We can start one small further as the next task. And, of course, we're going to be getting our last two bar crawls during that one small further if we don't have them already at that point. So yeah, that's the plan, really. We've been making really solid progress. You know, the levels are coming along nicely. We're all the way up to 45 magic, which means we have our camera a lot teleport along with everything that comes before it spirit trees fairy rings rd cape all unlocked so our transportation is looking good at the minute just got to to knock through a bunch of quests on with the day day seven the last day of our first week on this challenge got some more elk stacks there and i know i need a chisel and two candle lanterns Okay, let's just get rid of some of that shit. Not the chisel, we need the chisel. <laughs> oh, chisel. Chisel. <laughs> but let's get an alk stack. We'll go with these. I don't even know if I was meant to buy them, but I did. We've already got the dig site pendant on. Okay, I think we're good to go. Not dig site. Oh, yeah, actually, we do want to go to Dig Site. Usually, we'd go to Fossil Island, but in this instance, we do actually want to go to Dig Site because we don't have the mush trees unlocked yet. So, it's quick to go this way. All right. First birdhouse over there. So, if you've never done a birdhouse run before, it is super quick and super easy. Literally, all you have to do, put your birdhouse down, put some seeds in it, done. There's four of them. You do all four, and then... You come back in like an hour. It's like 50 minutes, so not quite an hour. But our stand seeds in, done. Go and lock the mush tree. Okay, now we can get back to house on the hill. I should have actually brought stamina, but we'll stop at the bank. We won't run out too far. Oh no, this is a long walk. Oops. Usually you would use that mush tree to go straight over to the next two bird houses, but we need to unlock the mush tree that we're traveling to first, so not gonna work this first time. All right, stamina, energy, I'll do. Fortunately, I only have to do this run once, and then every birdhouse run after this is gonna take us like two minutes. It, it's really quick to get in, reset them, and get out with whatever the uh, nests were if you got any. Our first one's here. Fill that up. Next one down here. Fill that up. Activate the mush tree. Now we can travel between all three of them. And we are good. Okay, Lost Tribe. We need a pickaxe. We need our one of our lanterns and a tinder box. We want a jeweling ring. We're gonna light that. We need a fire making level of four? Holy shit, I can't even light a candle! Oh my gosh, let's get some logs. I've been thinking we need to, like, fire making has just been a thing that's in the back of my head that, like, ah, I know we need to do this, but, like, who wants to start training fire making? Shit, man. Here we go. Alright, so we need a tinder box. We need our logs. Let's go stand over here. Oh, 
Oh man, this is gonna be so bad! Look how slow it is. Thankfully we only have to get to level 4. Oh, we're getting instant lights. Let's go. No, I jinxed it. Okay, we got 4. That's all we needed for now. My scroll wheel's been really dodgy. Keeps like not turning. Okay, we got the light source. Beautiful. Right, we got our runes, we get a Alk stack. I'll take that one because it's tiny and finish it off. And teleports, we've got our stuff on. Yep, we should get a glory rather than... And we should get a combat wrestler as well. No, not noted. Why did I get all those noted? What an idiot. Okay, I think we need a new wealth. I can't remember if we bought them. We did. So we'll take one of them in case we need to get back to the G for whatever reason. And then we'll sell this. Lumbridge, Varrock, we'd have followed all. We need water runes, don't we? Beautiful. Okay. My Alk's in a bit of a weird spot now. No, I went up. Didn't get my stamina back out, did I? Good job we got this bank chest right here. After the fire making, I forgot to pick it up again. Get an energy pot as well. If I can fucking find them. Pickaxe, didn't get the pickaxe. We should probably upgrade our pick now, actually, to be fair. But we have to use it. I guess we do actually have, like, 31 mining or whatever now. Uh, no, I don't have a tinderbox. But it can't go out. Candle one, and pretty sure it can't go out. That rock. Oh, I have to actually click through it. Mad. Wait, do I need that? Do I need that? I might need that. Okay, Goblin Village. Oh, I don't have a good way to teleport there. I guess Faldor is the best bet. We do have a timer on these birdhouses as well. So, 716 is 26 plus 16. About 42 minutes, so we might just be able to get these at the end of the day. Did I learn them? Have I got them? Yeah, I've got them. Cool. Back to Lumbay. Pretty quick quest, this, to be honest. Jungle Potion's not too bad either, though it does take a while sometimes to get the... to collect the herbs. Like, some of them are really slow, I remember, right? Oh, we actually have to run this thing. If you've never done this before and you don't have quest helper, all you do is just follow the uh, the archers, I think. Wait, no, because that's an arch there and that would be bad. Maybe it's these things? Also, I can't remember what you meant to do. Well, let's be real, who doesn't have quest helper? There's 46 magic. Uh, bow. Fast travel. Uh, show me the way out. I think we just gotta go make slight proof Sigmund Gill, you know? The silverware. Uh, oh, we're going to the ham. Right, my bad. I should, oh yeah, yeah, I do wanna go up. I wanna get the lockpick. I'm just gonna teleport down. Okay, so it's the current. Bada bing, bada boom. Back we go. So nice just being able to teleport wherever I want rather than having to worry about like buying teletubs every time because I know that it's just a rune stack like yeah I can teleport to Lumbridge five times for this quest if I want because there is no reason not to. It's not costing me 500 GP a time it's costing me like 100. Boom. Peace treaty time. And this will give us a nice boost to our mining. There it is, up to 36, just the one level I think, but we're not too fussed about that. We are moving on to Jungle Potion. Now the best way to type one eye is probably just with Fairy Rings. However, uh, I think I prefer to get the bar crawl done while I'm there. I think that makes sense. Don't need that or that. Can we not use RD Teleport? 51! We can't use RD Teleport. Okay, well, we can just go, but it's fine. Uh, from here, I mean. Okay, go to Bramehaven. Oh, I could just tell it outside my house. I've got the ship there. I'm dumb as shit. I forgot there was a ship in Remington as well. Where? Which one actually is this? Dead Man's Chest. I'm guessing that's there. Because this is the Shrimp and Parrot. I know that. Banging. Lost some attack and defense levels. Maybe some prayer. Oh, we lost herb law levels as well, actually. That's kind of annoying. <laughs> this is a herb law quest we're doing. That drone does have a fair bit. Maybe that wasn't the best idea to do. Uh, I'm 
going to need a couple of these. I don't think Zerga Flesh Ears is on my list. No, it's not. So, we just need one for Legends Quest as well. And this is the long one, I think. Or the one that can sometimes be long, so... Fingers crossed some good RNG. Okay, there's one. There's two. Okay, I'll clean one of them. Probably didn't bring enough out. Okay, which one's this? Uh, that's fine, we can go do that. Can we get the others while... Like, can I go in there and get the thing? Or do I have to go back to him first? I don't want to waste time by trying it and find out that I can't. That would feel bad. Yeah, the Cetaphoil. foil. I think there's five of these different things to gather. It's annoying that you keep having to go back to them every time rather than just go out, get them all and do it, but... At least the other one was quick. Uh, oh, it doesn't actually say we need multiple of those. So... Yeah, I'll drop one of those. You plan on doing fairy tale? What I've done fairy tale one? I don't remember. Oh, is it if it's for the random chance? Right, I see. If you get that in your items for the Sekita. So yeah, I just need one of these. And then the rug's purse. I think we just need one of them as well. Because we're not doing flesh ears. Alright, last one. Oh, I'm out of Alks. Pretty sure we can use the bank in Shiloh. Oh no, maybe we can't go into Shiloh Village until we've done the quest. I can't remember. Because I can't go through like all Shiloh Village without having any Alks. That'll be fucked. Plus I probably need other stuff from the bank anyway. Okay, so I just need one of these. Easy peasy. I'm going to have to bank anyway. There we go. That is... Herb Law. Oh, I got, oh, we got a Herb Law level there. Jungle Potion done. Uh, you know what? I'm actually just going to go to Camelot and finish the bar crawl. Never have to think about it again. I'm too drunk to be able to read the bar crawl card. Oh, that's fucked up. What did I get drained? My fire making! No! Not my four fire making levels! Five fletching levels as well. Imagine being at level zero in a skill, you know? How long would it take to light those logs? Is it even possible? These are the sorts of questions that you only get the answers to on one hour limit locked. Not that I'm giving any answers. <laughs> what do we need food for? Is the combine this quest? Crumble undead. Do we have access to that? We need chaos runes. Are we good? Big ol' alk stack. In fact, let's just get a few energies. Couple summer pies? Yeah, why the fuck not? We're just stocking up on random shit at this point. We need bronze wire, apparently. Do we have any bronze bars? We do. And we've got a hammer and there's a... Uh... Oh, but there's... We need th one bronze wire, one bronze wire. So we can just go make some wire. Need bones as well. Uh, where's wire? Where's wire? Fuck me. Maybe I should put mage robes on if we're going to be doing combat. Okay, I think we're pretty good to go. Oh, we need a lantern. I'll get a tinderbox as well. Lit torch or candle. Okay, so we actually... Wait, can we not take the candle out? Oh my gosh. Okay, we're going to get a candle. <laughs> Can I kill something random on the way? The bones? Not really seeing anything. Oh, there's unicorns around here, but I don't feel like I'm I'm not gonna one hit a unicorn, am I? There's a man there. Do we have our we don't have our Draymond or our Ardy Cloak? Yeah, I've got a bit of a messy invent right now, aren't I? You could say you could say that. You'd be pretty accurate. Right, I'm gonna go back to Ferox and get a reset. And then from here, we are going to go straight to... Wait, the Ardic looks actually a better magic bonus than a fire kit. Guess we don't need a fire kit. <sighs> go to the monastery. Still need one more pair of bones, but we don't need them until later. And our invent's kind of busy at the minute. Right, fairy ring, CKR. Bang on. Might be a push to get this done today. We've only got 24 minutes left. It's quite a lot of running around is all. Of travel time. Shame we don't have any quick way to get to Tybal one I? The teleport's super expensive though, I think. I should look it up though. Tybal one I? Oh, I need to use it on him. Oh, they're only 6k. I could get a couple. I could get a couple Tybal one eyes. 
That's not too bad. I thought they were way more than that. I thought they were like 30k. But I think we're gonna have to go back there a couple times probably. So I'll just get like three and then we can sell whatever we don't use. And where are we going now? You just spin the sound of Eve Granger. So we're going to the Grand Tree. No, we're not. There's a quicker way if we go to the PvP arena. That's much easier to get to the glider than running all the way to the tree. Glider to Gandius. Excellent. Alright, in the first cave. Okay. It's not gonna work while he's on me, is it? Fuck's sake. Okay, in the middle of Tybo, one I? Good job we got teleports, isn't it? Oh, no way, we can't use them! Fuck! Oh, it's on the list, but I don't want to interrupt this to do that. Yeah, it's quite... This is quite there's quite a few steps to that. I was just thinking it through in my head, but there is quite a few steps to that quest. I don't think it's something we could really just like smash out. It's gonna take more time than simply running back to Type Ball now when we need to. Just the last bit. No, not quite yet. Alright, here comes the RNG check of the day. There's always one failable agility obstacle in a one hour limit locked episode. Will we cross the bridge? Moment of truth. Oh, first time. Absolutely smashed it. Okay, so we just need another lot of bones now. And we need to go to the other side of the river. So, I think... We'll just teleport straight there. Imps do not drop bones. Monks do. <laughs> Sorry, but... <laughs> You're a casualty of this quest. You didn't know you can get a triangle sandwich from pickpocket in this guy. It's very, very hard to fail it. Oh god, what's this one? C K P? No C I P? No C I R? No C I ain't got a fucking clue. D K P. Oh, I was almost there. I said C K P. That was my first guess. Here we go. Easy peasy. We should definitely get this quest done. I don't think we'll get much more done than that, but that was the goal for the day, so all good. Not on the stalactite, you idiot. Okay, I think we want to be on this side. Oh fuck, fucked it up somehow. What's wrong with me? There we go. Fuck me, that took too long. There's a magic level. 47. Last one. I uh, doesn't have a chance of being something important. Let me get the corpse first. A kebab? I didn't want a kebab. I wanted a stale thing. Whatever that is. Alright, so we got everything. Search rocks on Cairn Isle again. Okay. So we're going back. So much shite in my inventory. I don't know what any of it is. I didn't even have my dragon bun neck. Oh no, no, yeah, we needed the beads of the dead on, didn't we? Okay, CK. Almost there. Probably should just start one small further straight away because we're actually pretty close to the start point where we currently are. Just makes sense. Alright, second attempt! I didn't turn my run off. I thought I did, but my guy was sprinting, even though it says my run's off. Maybe I control clicked. F's in chat for my fall. Here we go. Don't fuck me now. Let's go. Let's fucking go! There's Shiloh Village done. We now have access to the village itself. Along with a little bit of crafting XP there. Up to 34. Not sure exactly what we were on, but I can check. It was 32. We got two crafting levels there. Not bad. This is the nice thing about keeping like everything tracked in a big spreadsheet. Wait, is it important? Is any of this important? Yeah, I'm quite sure. What, why is this not working? Oh my god, it keeps stopping me. What the fuck? That's awful. I don't even know where we start on small favor. I just know it's some guy around here. Is it one of the it's one of the woodcutters or something in it? Oh, is it actually someone in the village? No, oh, I didn't know we needed 30 smithing for this. The fuck? 
You can get a smitten level easy. Like, it's fucking 600 XP, it's nothing, but... To be fair, by the time we started, we're probably just gonna head to the G and buy up all the shit that we need for it. Seems like it's probably the play. But it does kind of, like, lead you to run from one to the other, so... One small favour, here we go. I have to get rid of some of this shit. I was looking crystal. I don't even I didn't even use that. Like where did I even come from? Get rid of that shit. Get yourself de-geared of anything heavy. Get glory. Get dueling ring. Get stamina. Damn low on stamps. Do we have a wealth on yeah. Okay, and runes, and alcohols. Oh, you know what, our birdhouses are probably, yeah, our birdhouses are done. I'll probably just do this one step, I can't remember where the next one takes you to. Port Sarim. Okay, so yeah, we don't really need to go straight there. Let's go do a birdhouse run. Okay, so we want our clockwork, we want our chisel, our hammer a dig site teleport, a potato seed stack, and some logs. We go to Fossil Island, make the first clockwork birdhouse, down to Verdant Valley, empty the first birdhouse, put the next one down. Not likely to get too many birds nests out of these low level ones of course, but the more our hunter level pushes up, the more Often we will get bird nests, and the hunter levels do fly up pretty fast here. If you just keep up with your bird houses, as you can see so far, I've got one level per per house. <laughs> you can just make the new ones on the way. This one might not level us up. No. Oh no, it did. So we can now make uh, oak ones on the next trip as well. So we've already upgraded our bird houses, even though we didn't get any nests or anything. All right, I'm just gonna go to G and buy some shit for this quest. But we'll have another bird house run to collect in the morning. So I should probably keep some of the shit on me because it'll be the first thing we do, really. I should get some oak logs. And then, yeah, we want some Staminas. That's most of our money. Holy fuck. Jesus Christ, we need so much stuff. Oh! I actually totally wasn't paying attention to that. I was in, in the zone, just getting as much done as I could. Uh, we got most of it. We got most of it. Oh, I didn't actually need those, huh? They were recommended, not required. Oh, I get it, so you can do it quicker. I remember now. Yeah, we got everything that we wanted to do today done, which is good. First birdhouse run did not provide any fruits for our labours, but we did get up to 15, 14 hunter, which I believe is enough for oak birdhouses. Yes, it is. Uh, so we can start making the oak ones, they'll be more likely, and then, you know, the higher we push up, like I say, get to Willow after that, they'll be even easier. Yeah, yeah, decent. Let's have a look at the XP gain today. We got 4,000 crafting XP, two levels, almost up to the next level as well. Our goal there is 50, so progress being made. 12,000 magic XP is two levels for that as well. Four fire making levels, of course, with that little bit of training that we did. A uh, couple of mining levels. One, no, just one mining level. A herb law level. And five hunter levels. But we also got Shiloh Village done, which means we could start once more further. It's less of a rewarding quest up front and more that it unlocks things for us. So that's good. Because we're going to be using one small favour. We get two 10k lamps from this. I'm going to be using them on mining and agility, which is going to be a really nice boost to both of those. It'll give me the mining level to do the watchtower quest, which will be an extra 15,000 magic XP and 
Ted K agility as well is like that's a third of what we've already got in agility. That's crazy. So one small favor is going to be huge once we get it done. Uh, Watchtower is going to be huge after that. We can do Horror from the Deep now because we've got our back roll done as well. So Horror from the Deep's available. We can get whatever god books we want after that and buying them at the GE as long as we have a bit of money. To be fair, the cash stack is low, but I should point out that we always have our blessed hide still. There's at least a mill there. If not closer to two. So we've always got that to fall back on. If if we desperately need it. But yeah I think that's going to be it for this one. So if you enjoyed the video. Please do leave me a like. And a comment down below. Let me know how you find in this series so far. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So you see all the future content as it drops. I do daily videos. Because I'm a mad bastard. Other than that. Look after yourself. Be lovely to one another. And I will see you on the next one.